Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today, uh, we are we're, we have made some Christmas coasters, and this video is featuring Dee Dee Crafty, which is very rare. <laughs> she is um, technologically challenged, so to speak. <laughs> so um, she's working on getting these uh, coasters uh, prepped and ready. We had um, three sets of four coasters that uh, she made. And we painted them with the Waverly White chalk paint. And she is applying Mod Podge on here, on each of them. And um, we chose to use the iron-on method for this. <clears throat> so, uh, with the iron-on method, you just, you put the Mod Podge on, you let it dry, and then you use, um, a heat press or, you know, like a little mini press. Now, she had done all, all of the, the prep work here, getting them, uh, painted and the Mod Podge on there. And then once she got all that done and they were ready, I had been using the heat press for doing our pot holders. So she went ahead and passed them off to me to press. Now, I had done it on my big heat press. I had put, you know, put each of them in there and did not get a even um, adherence or you know it didn't adhere evenly so I had to go back over with the little mini heat press that I have the little iron because that I can maneuver around the, the edges to make sure that we got a good uh, seal on the edges and then she put the the top uh, top coat of Mod Podge on each of them. You can see here she's um, some of those are still wet, but she had some that were dry already, and she's cutting out the the set with the gingerbread men. We had done uh, we did three sets. We did a set with gingerbread men. Um, a Christmas Highland Cow set and a uh, red truck farmhouse um, set. And so we did four of, of each. They were different um, they were different designs on each of them but similar if that makes any sense. So, um, let's see. Uh, she, I thought we had them. I thought, thought I cut out some of the cutting. I did cut out some of the mod podging too. It was a quick. They were quick projects. Um, didn't take long to do. So it's kind of a short video and and trying to move the tripod with the phone back and forth, you know, over to the heat press and, and back. Um, is Yeah, it was just a pain in the butt. So she had already handed off the the gingerbread ones. These are the little Highland Cow ones. And they turned out they, they turned out really cute. I, I love these Highland Cow ones. Those little uh, design, the prints, are just adorable for those. And I apologize, the lighting isn't the best. Because um, we were over in, in the other cabin. Oh, Lord. I thought I, Okay. We were over in the other cabin, and I didn't take all my lights set up and everything over there. I just had the one ring light. So, I apologize for the lighting not being the best. 
but it's rare that I actually get Dee Dee over here crafting with me. Um, she, you know, we live about 40 minutes apart. We were prepping for our craft show that uh, we had this past weekend. And we actually sold one of the sets of those coasters, the truck set. But we're hoping to be able to get together and craft more often um, in the near future. Once we get past the hectic holidays, um, I need to get I need to get that cabin more organized and get our supplies more organized. I've been trying, been working on getting things the supplies organized and everything we just have so many of them it, it's just it's unreal but here she is putting the top coat on and this is this is where we determined that the heat press did not adhere it very well around the edges because it allowed it to bubble up so we got we got some bubbles under there um which was something that I was able to fix. Um, I just applied the weighted till all of that dried and used the mini heat press with some parchment paper very quickly. If you, if you have to go back over something that you've already put the, um, and see here, she's trying to get some of those bubbles out because usually if you use the wet method, if you use the round wrap, to help push the you know bubbles out it doesn't um doesn't mess up your project we didn't have any saran wrap so she grabbed her bag of rice to do it with <laughs> hey you know <laughs> crafters crafters are, are um we're very um crafty in our our ways of doing things but anyway here's the final project or the final uh, reveal of each set. But as I was saying, if you do the, the, after you put the Mod Podge on the top, if you do the iron on method, use parchment paper and be really quick as you're doing it so that it doesn't stick. <laughs> 